Philip is in D.C. Hey, Philip, welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Thanks so much for taking my call. It's really an honor. Sure. How can I help? So basically, two years ago, my mom convinced me to loan her half of all my savings, so $7,000, and spend it on Bitcoin. Now, two years later, we haven't made any money on that investment. Now, I'm sorry, I'm wait a did you student. give it to her to invest in Bitcoin, or we decided we were going to invest it in Bitcoin? Well, uh, she, I loaned it to her okay. to invest. And, and so she, she took the risk, the and she borrowed the money from her son to take the risk. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm in college, and I need the money for tuition, and so I want her to give the money back to me. And she's now refusing, and she's saying Bitcoin's going to make us into millionaires mm -hmm. in the long term, and it would be a totally foolish thing. Mm -hmm. And she's basically just stamping down and saying she's not going to give me back the money because Bitcoin's going to turn us into millionaires. Mm -hmm. And I pretty much, this money is pretty important for me just so I can get through college debt free. And I mean, do you think that she's right in how, how, how old are money you? in Bitcoin? Do you think I'm 20? Okay. I'm a sophomore. No, she's wrong. And she's wrong, and she's wrong, and she's wrong. Number one, you don't borrow money from your, what, at the time, 17 or 18-year-old son. If you're that big a loser, you don't need to be investing. Number two, when you do borrow money from your own child, and they ask to pay it back because they're in college, you give them the money back. You don't be a loser. Number three, you pick the worst possible thing to invest in. You're going to lose your butt. You're not going to be a millionaire in Bitcoin. You're going to be $7,000 poorer. So mom's wrong like three times. Three strikes, you're out. Tell her you want your money back and you want it back now. This is wrong. Hey. What, what kind of person borrows money from their kid to, to be in a shady investment? I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah, I'm calling your mother yeah, names. I, I'm sorry, but um, it's okay. Yeah, but I mean, I, I'm I'm just mad for you. You're 20 years old. You should be living your life. You shouldn't be worrying about these kinds of things. You should be working about your studies and finishing your degree. You shouldn't have to be worried about your own mother having taken money to go off on some lark. Because no, I I mean, Bitcoin someday may turn into something. Today, you would have a better chance of becoming a millionaire at the roulette table in Vegas. Do you, do you have any suggestions for you know other things to invest in, or do you think no. I can just I, I, You know what I would invest up? in? I would invest in Philip finishing his degree. I think you're a better That's investment than anything else I know of out there. I invest in real estate and mutual funds, but I think you're a better investment because I think your degree, will, if yeah. you're studying something reasonable and that's marketable, what are you studying? Uh, so I'm doing um, economics and um, a minor in computer science. Ta-da. These are very marketable, usable skills in the marketplace, particularly in Washington, D.C. So, yeah, you're going to do fine with that. You know, In other words, the amount of money you're going to make as a result of finishing this degree is a lot more than you would make on an investment. Do you see what I'm saying? You're a good investment. Yeah. And this is the best way to spend money on you when you're 20 and you're studying something like this. It's good in school and you pay cash for it and you stay out of debt and you do all those wonderful things. I don't know how to be... Um, how to suggest since your mother's being belligerent that you just say mom you know i talked to a financial coach and he completely disagrees and i know you and i don't agree with about this but it is my money and i'm trying to finish school and i really need you to cash that out and give me my money back today well i don't think you're right i don't care if you think i'm right but i mean the, the, she her belligerence on this and her desperation to become a millionaire with a seven thousand dollar investment i mean come on really this is it does seem a bit unrealistic. Yeah, it is a bit unreal. Yeah, that, that's a good, that's a nice way of saying it. Yeah. So as you as you complete your field of study in economics, you will see the flaws in the Bitcoin thing. Bitcoin is, um, it has a lot of wonderful attributes to it, and someday it may become a stabilized currency. But today, currency is based 100% on one thing, trust. I have a bunch of military coins that guys that have served in the military and gals that have served in the military, when they shake your hand, they give you a coin. It's a sign of honor, and I love those. I've got a, hundreds of them in my office. And right beside them, I have a dollar bill or an $18 bill or whatever it is with a picture of Saddam Hussein on it. 
You know what that dollar bill is worth? Zero. Because Saddam Hussein is dead. And he's not a dead president. It's a dead country that went away and had to be completely reformed. There's no trust in that currency. So I can't trade that for anything. But you take a green piece of paper with a dead president on it from the United States, I can trade that for stuff. Why? Because of trust. Bitcoin doesn't have that trust yet. Because all it's got right now is a get-rich-quick smell all over it. And people are avoiding it that are smart.